So we have enjoyed this interaction more than words can express. It is satisfying to come together with those like you who are coming to know who you are. You had a little snatch of the vortex here today and we know we were annoying most of the day. We know that, <laughs> but you had moments of pure in the vortexness, and we'll take that. You can be mad at us all day long. And if we can evoke from you three or four good segments where you resonate completely with who you are, we know that you are forever changed. We know that your vibration is shifted enough that over the next few days, even over the next few weeks, that your vibration is shifted enough that you will see the evidence of the vibrational shift that has taken place here. We think it's time for anyone who wants to be the powerful creator that you were born to be to stop justifying what you want by exploring what is at all. We think it's time for you to make the leap into the vortex and leave what you have known as reality behind. And when you leave what you've known as reality behind, you'll begin living real time in this vortex. We're not asking you to croak today. That's not what we're asking. <laughs> we're not asking you to take a complete departure from everything that you know. What we're asking you to do is to accept the vibrational nature of your being and to let the way you feel be the only thing that really matters to you. We're asking you to care about how you feel because that's the only way that you will know at all your proximity to your vortex. We're asking you to no longer ask anyone else to behave any differently in order to affect your emotion. We're asking you to accept that you are in complete control about how you feel because you have the ability to focus. We're asking you to stop beating up on yourself or others. We're asking you, we're asking you, we're asking you, we're asking you to turn off your televisions for 30 days. Turn off your televisions for 30 days can feel the pains of withdrawal all around the room. <laughs> Turn off your television for 30 days. Cancel your meetings with other people. Withdraw from the reality in every way you can. Now you have to decide what you can and cannot do, but Re withdraw from as much of your reality as you can for 30 days and explore the recesses and the resources of your vortex. Fire up the passion of your imagination. Buy a notebook and call it your book of positive aspects and write in it as much as you have time for. And tune yourself in these small efforts to the vibration of who you really are. And then on about day three or four, inspiration to act in new ways will begin to occur to you. And as the inspiration occurs, Follow through with it if you can in the moment that you think of it. Make the phone call, move in the direction of it, feel the pull of it. It's like source taking you by the hand and saying, you've been mentioning this for quite a long while and I want to show you where it is. You've been mentioning that for quite a long while and I want to show you where it is. And then document in your notebook the evidence of things that you've wanted for a while that are now vivid enough that you are seeing them in your mind's eye, seeing them in the environment around you, seeing the evidence of them, but even more than seeing it or hearing it or smelling it or tasting it or touching it, feeling the vividness of it. If someone says to you, you seem different, what's going on with you? Tell them, I'm withdrawing from reality. <laughs> and before they 
muster too much alarm say to them but don't worry I'm focusing into my vibrational reality which really is present tense as they say well you do seem happier say to them everything that I want and everything that I am is in this vortex where I am now focusing and I've discovered that I'm addicted to this expanded version of me and that I cannot go back then say to them I tried to go back for quite a while I didn't really know about the existence of this vortex and I was clinging to reality but it was tearing me apart and so I let go of reality and I began thinking in terms of vibrational reality and now there's no stress in my body now there's no pain in my body now there's no anger in my heart now there's no tension in my being now there's no resistance around me and now I'm floating free in this vortex of cooperative components where all kinds of remarkable things are presenting themselves to me in just perfect timing it's like the entire universe has been established just to support me and your friend will walk away scratching his head probably <laughs> but when you reach that place that you are ready to announce to anyone who you see that you have freed yourself from the clinging to this morning's eggs and that you are now floating free in the expectation of all things as you've most wanted them to be the body weight that I choose the clarity that I seek the friendships that I adore the relationships with my children and my parents and my siblings and my friends that I have long been seeking a feeling of patriotism about this nation in which I so proudly live a feeling of exhilaration and appreciation about this planet that spins in its orbit and all that came before I got here in order to add support to that which I am appreciation for the infrastructure of my world the economic infrastructure and the engineering infrastructure the infrastructure that moves the food around the infrastructure that moves the goods around the appreciation that I feel for those who are trucking things from place to place and those that are repairing the roads to make it possible that it moves the people that have the ideas and the people that have the businesses my appreciation for the big businesses that are at the heart of so much of the commerce that is serving so many of us my appreciation for the big government that is at the heart of so much of the structure that makes it possible for us to move in the organized way that we do my appreciation for the people who build the houses and the people who cook the food my appreciation for all of that is just running rampant as I stand inside the vortex and realize that this reality that I am now observing in a slighter fashion has always and only ever been the bouncing off place for that which I am creating through the power of my imagination I realize now that I was always off base when I had imagined myself into a new place and that I expected reality to live up to that which was always going to be that which was to come in terms of manifestation I've been asking too much from reality and I'm no longer going to do it reality is never going to disappoint me again my government will never disappoint me again because my version of my government in my vortex is what I am now giving my attention to I have been wrong to ask my government to be the new and improved version that is only in the vortex I must go to the vortex where the new and improved version is in order to make claim to this government that I seek you are following we have enjoyed this interaction more than words can say come to the vortex where we are where all the cooperative <laughs> components to everything that you want is and we will all continue to live happily ever after which we will all continue to do whether you are living happily ever after in this moment or not happily ever after is the order of this universe it is our promise to you well-being abounds there is great love here for you 
And as always, we remain blissfully and eternally in the vortex.